So yesterday, something pretty interesting happened, and it was to do with a big bunch of games, a developer which is due to make some exclusive games for PlayStation 5 and make some really popular games for PlayStation, which has now been fully bought out by Xbox, which, as you can imagine, is raising quite a few questions. I know a lot of people are a little bit worried about what's going to be happening, what's going to happen with games and all that sort of stuff. And I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what I know about it um, and what I'm expecting to kind of happen from it. And it's not all bad news, so don't worry. First off, there are two PS5 exclusive which are due to be coming out. First off is a game called Deathloop and the second is Ghostwire. Now, these games were set to be uh, PS5 exclusives. Now, what's mentioned at the moment is that they now timed PS5 exclusives. Whether or not they was always due to kind of come out on both consoles, personally, not too sure. Um, I think it's cool that they kind of stuck to it, that it's kind of being announced, it's kind of being advertised as an exclusive for PS5, and they are still sticking to it, even though it is kind of just a timed thing. What's been mentioned so far is, when it does come to future console releases, everything's going to kind of be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis. So it is good news they're not fully kind of cancelling PlayStation off. If you're a PlayStation gamer, it doesn't look like you need to worry too much. But at the same time, it's pretty much guaranteed that some of the games that are going to be coming out over the next couple of years that have been out previously on PlayStation are going to end up being Xbox exclusives. Now, the first game that I want to talk about is Wolfenstein. Now, Wolfenstein, I'm expecting to end up being a full Xbox exclusive when it's coming to the next kind of games that they release. Um, and chances are it'll be something that'll kind of come out day one on uh, Xbox Game Pass. Uh, when it comes to other games, um, Elder Scrolls, I know everyone's excited for Elder Scrolls 6. That, chances are, is going to be coming out on all platforms. I really, really doubt them put me... I really, really doubt them trying to make it an Xbox exclusive. I think it'd just cause a massive uproar. Everyone would be really, really annoyed and devastated. And I don't think it's something that they do. They'd lose a lot of money if they did. And it's the same with Fallout. The next Fallout game, I don't personally think it's going to be an Xbox exclusive. But it's not as a bigger game as Elder Scrolls is. So there's always the chance. If anything, it'll be something like it'll come out day one on Game Pass, the next Fallout game. So everyone gets to play it for free. Where obviously on other consoles, you have to go out and buy it. Um, other games, I know personally, there's not that much other stuff that I'm fully into myself. I know a lot of people will have hype for like Doom, Prey, that sort of stuff. For me, they're not games that I personally play. But again, I can't see the next Doom being a console exclusive. Same with Prey. It, if anything, it'll kind of work the same way that it does with Call of Duty on PlayStation. Um, either you'll get it first on Xbox or you'll be able to get DLC first on Xbox or exclusive content, that sort of stuff. I don't think there's that many games that they will actually end up fully looking at making exclusives. But at the moment, nothing's kind of being fully mentioned about it. Everyone's kind of a bit up in the air of what's what's it mean for the future. Personally, don't worry about it. I think all it means is previous games will be free on Game Pass. So they bought it. So they've got the rights to give them out for free. Uh, future content like DLC and stuff might be exclusive for a while or timed exclusives. So yeah, it's not something majorly to worry about, but definitely keep an eye on it. For me personally though, there's not that many Bethesda games that I actually personally play. So for me, it's not going to affect me that much, but I know it is going to affect some of you guys. Curious to see what you think though about this. Is it something that you're worried about, not too bothered, or Bethesda games, are they not really something that you really play anyway? Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts. But that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have, a like would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new, but thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.